All right, I think we'll just get started. Uh, hi, my name is Fiori and I'm a product manager here at Pop Menu. And uh, today we're gonna walk through uh, our new web builder that um, my team has been working on. So we're really excited um, to show you guys how this works. Um, so the, the goal of the web builder is to make it a lot easier for our clients uh, to be able to uh, create new uh, pages, manage their website and make edits easily. Um, so, so yeah, so to be able to help you do that, uh, we're gonna be walking you through the web builder today, kind of showing you some of the main functionalities. And then at the end of it, uh, we'll have time for Q and A. Um, so I will be starting with uh, showing some of the main functionalities that we have. Uh, we've changed some of the components and the format of the web builder. Um, so we'll show the, the new preview uh, functionalities that we have, published feature, and also knowledge base that you can access at any time. Um, I'll also go through some of the main uh, new features, like creating how to create a new page, how to add a new section, and how to edit uh, the content in the web builder. And then as I mentioned, I'll, uh, we'll have time for Q&A at the end. All right, let me share my other screen. All right, so to access the, the new web builder, you would go to the same place where you go today on the main um, navigation, where, so you click on the web builder, um, and then you'll see that you'll have a whole new format of what the new web builder looks like. Um, if you wanna go back to the old page editor, you can always click on this button at the top where it says looking for the old page editor, click to go back. When you click back on it, just click confirm. And then you'll see that you'll have the old web builder uh, at the bottom here. And you can go in and make any edits like you would do um, today using the page editor. The only thing that is different with the, with this is that when you do go in and make any changes on your website using the page editor, you still would have to go and click on uh, publish. And the reason for that is everything in the web builder now is a draft mode, meaning that when you make any changes, that's not going to go live automatically onto your website. You would it's a draft mode, so it would just um, you're just saving it. To, um, as is as what it would look like once you hit publish. So you still have to click publish and then it would go live. And that goes for both the old page editor and the new page editor. Um, and you can use both of them um, as you please. So all the changes that you make on the old page editor will also be visible on the new one. And now for the new one. So this is what the new page uh, web builder looks like. And you have some ma main components here. Um, so this is your website, this is in draft mode. Uh, and then at your left side panel here is your uh, preview. It's meaning that everything that you see here is um, what your website would look like. So once you hit publish, then that will go live. Uh, this is also where you see all your edits um, live. So once you make any changes, they will be auto saved and then you can see them here. Um, and then once you're happy with what that looks like, then you can uh, go ahead and click publish and then it would go live. Uh, this will prevent you from making any changes. And then if you don't like it, um, they won't be automatically live on your website. You can still you know, review them before you, uh, you hit live or you hit publish for them to go live. So that's on your preview uh, panel. And then on the right-hand side is your all your settings, this is where you'll make all the changes. So you have two main settings here. You have all your pages. So as you can see here, I only have two pages on my site. This is a list of all the pages that I have on my website. Um, this is also where I can add new page and I will walk through that in a minute. Um, and then when you click on a page, you'll have all of your sections that are within that page and you could click on them section to make those edits. And I will show you that in a minute. Um, on the left side, on the right hand side here, you have settings. These are all your global settings. So you can go in and add social media to your uh, website. You can add a reservation. If you click on reservation, it will take you back to MyPop outside of the web builder. And so it will take you to location settings and then you can update your location and hour. 
scroll down and you'll see a reservation uh, here and you can add uh, whatever reservation that you, uh, that you use and then that will be added to your website. To go back to, um, then once you're back in the, um, on your website, then you'll be able to see that reservation will be added to a location section if you have that on your website. Other changes that you can make here, you can edit sign up forms. Um, you can also edit your logo settings. So you can add, if you want to change your logo settings for the restaurant, you can add that here, uh, or your footer logo, you can add that and that will be updated onto your website as well. Uh, other things that you have here are, so like I mentioned, your publish button will be up here. Uh, you can also have, you also have a mobile view, so you can see what it looks like on a uh, on a mobile. Um, and then in addition, we also have a knowledge base. So if you click up here, you'll get a list of uh, support videos and uh, demo videos of what thing, how you can do things. So for example, if you wanted to add a new page, you can click on that and then you'll see a video of how to add a new page. And then also you can read about how step-by-step uh, -step how to do it as well. So you have access to all kinds of videos um, from your knowledge base. So how to manage links, how to add a menu, online ordering, and then also some other settings here as well. So this is always available for you uh, to look through if you, um, if you can't remember how to do a certain, um, or change uh, any content or anything. In addition, you also have access to um, our help desk here. Uh, you can search for support documents. So we do have support documents uh, that are related to the new web builder. So you can also search for that here or send us a message if you have any questions. So those are some of the main components. Uh, next, I will walk you through how to um, add a new page and add a new link to that page. So as I mentioned here, you click on pages and then you'll have a list uh, all of your pages will be listed on the side panel here. To add a new page, you would just click this plus button and then you can name the page, whatever you want to name it. So I would call this about us, for example, and you can choose whether you want this page to be visible or not. Once the page is added, uh, you'll see that it's uh, listed here on the side panel. But as you can see, it is not on the navigation. And that is because we haven't created a link yet. So in order to create a link and add that to your navigation, you will click on the page, click nav, and then you can click links, and you'll see a list of all of the links that you already have. So as you can see, about us is not here. You click um, to create a new link, you just click the plus button, and then you name, write the name of the, the link. And then here you can choose whether you want it to be a custom URL, blog, page, review, um, sign up menu, sign in. Um, so for now, let's say we want this to be a page and then you link that to the page that you just created. So that's the about us page. And you can also make that a featured um, link as well if you wanted to. So now you can see that the page is added to your website. So here's the page, and now that's how you would create a new page. And now once you've created the page, you'll see here that you'll have a header, and then that's kind of about it. Um, to, so to you know, create the new page, you would have to add new sections, and there are two ways you can do that. Um, you can do that by hovering over at the bottom of the header section, and you'll see add section. And once you click on it, you'll see that um, you'll have options here in the drop down of all the sections that we have available. So you can scroll through and see whatever section that you want to add. You'll click on the section and then you'll see what the section looks like. Uh, some of the sections you have multiple options like text box. So let's say we want to add this one. And then it is now added to the new to the page. Um, and then on the sidebar here, you'll see all the settings that are um, for you to be able to edit the section here. So at the top here, you see the section heading, it says text box. 
Um, if you want to change it to anything, just write whatever you want to uh, call it, and then you'll see that it automatically be saved on the um, on the site. And the same goes for the um, other settings here. So you can change the subheading and then the heading as well. Um, paragraph here, you can add um, add any text. If you wanted to add a display button, you would just click on display button here. And then you'd see that a text uh, button would show up. Here you can change the name of the button, call it menu, for example. Uh, it's a custom, or maybe it goes to your menu page. If you had one, you can do that. And then you can target uh, any page here if you wanted to do that as well. Um, here's uh, optional. If you wanted to have a photo, you can just click on uh, swap photo and then choose whatever photo that you wanted to add. And then the photo would be um, updated on your site as well. You have some additional settings here, uh, some content settings, um, background settings as well, and advanced settings. One thing that's important to remember is that everything on the web builder is um, all the settings in the web builder are the same as the settings that you have in the page editor. So you'll be able to find all of the settings that you are, are normally used to using. You'll be able to find them here. Um, it looks like there's something wrong with the page. One second. I think it's the recording that did something. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so that's how to add a new uh, section. We also have some additional uh, sections here like for example, if you wanted to add a new menu, um, if you already have a site up, then you know most of you would have a menu there already. Um, but if you wanted to add a new menu, for example, um, you could you would first have to go back to my pop um, to menus here and add your menus, uh, or you could you know edit your menus like you normally would, and then that would be updated on your website. But if you wanted to add a new menu, let's say you went, you created a whole new menu and you wanted to add that to your website, um, you would go back to sections and then you'd find menus, click on the menu. And then here you have a list of all of your menus. So if you had multiple menus here and a new one that you wanted to add, then you could just click off if you click on that menu and then it would be added to your, um, to your website. The same is for uh, online menus as well. If you wanted to make any updates to your online uh, menu, online ordering menu, you could go back to the menu section, you make your changes there. And if it's a brand new uh, menu that you wanted to add, then you just come here, click on the section, and then um, that menu will actually be automatically uh, updated. If you wanted to um, delete a section, you have multiple ways that you could do that as well. Um, let's say, okay. so for example, if you wanted to delete this online ordering section, you could just hover over it and click delete. And then you'll see that it's gone on the sidebar here and also on your, um, on the pages. Um, so yeah, that, those are the main functionalities uh, that we have. Uh, our goal, like I said, is to make this a lot easier, more intuitive for our clients. 